HCB family, how's it going? Welcome to Hold the Ball. And so I hope you guys are well. Thanks again for tuning in. If you need, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff there. Before we start, you're right. Hello, greetings to the Papua New Guinean family, rugby league fans. Let's get into this one. Hit the intro. The Gumuls, Papua New Guinea, they uh, have selected a very strong, formidable squad. What I'll be doing is um, naming the squad and then giving you guys my thoughts on Papua New Guinea. So without saying uh, too much, let's get into it. All right, so we have Wellington Albert, Jacob Alec, Kevin Apo, Watson Boss, Xavier Coates, Edine Gebi, Edwin Ipape, Zev John, Alex Johnston, Lachlan Lamb, Carl Labert, Nene McDonald, Reese Martin, Sylvester Namo. Jimmy Wutuk, Justin Olam, Nixon Put, Daniel Russell, Jeremiah Simbikin, Roderick Tai, Sharon Tanabi, Wessa Tenza, Emmanuel Wayne, as well as as well as Mackenzie Ye. And there you have it. That is your 24-man squad. Look, uh, obviously, there's been a lot of stuff, and I've got to bring it up. A lot of Papua New Guinea fans were a bit disgruntled in the selection there of um, Wessa Tenza as opposed to uh, Horn. Um, understanding that Horn was a back-to-back -back, uh, premiership winner for the North Devils, and obviously Tenza playing for the PNG Hunters, finishing 12th uh, this past season. Now, in saying that, I'm not going to dive too much into the politics there, but I thought I'd just highlight that. Uh, I suppose it's been such a, it's been a key talking point uh, amongst our Papua New Guinean Rugby League fans, so I thought I'd bring it up. Now, with the squad here in general, look, we all we all know how, how, um, how Papua New Guineans play when they put on that jersey, right? Ruthless, aggressive, brutal, no nonsense attitude, no handbrake attitude. Um, they've been thrown into a, uh, how do I say this, a very delicious pool, right, in, in, in Pool D with Tonga as well as Cook Islands and Wales. Um, uh, this is just a, how do I say this, it's a perfect storm, I suppose, for, for, for this game here, for this team in general. Obviously, look for the likes of Alex Johnson, Xavier Coates, uh, you know, to do damage. And then I haven't even mentioned Justin Olam as well. Carl Labert, good player to be fair with you guys. Nina McDonald as well. You know, Daniel Russell too. Um, another player I don't mind watching is um, uh, Edine Gebby. He's a good player too. Big fan of his. Lachlan Lamb, Reese Martin obviously, but a former in our experience. This team here for mine is a lot better than the previous team we saw against um, Australia, you know, Prime Minister team. Now uh, this team here for mine is well balanced. And uh, I think uh, in terms of uh, offensive strike weapons out in the backs, I don't think we give uh, Papua New Guinea enough credit for for what they have in their in their arsenal there. So, again, uh, in terms of uh, meeting any opposition head on, regardless of who it is, that's a tick right there. They'll do that. They'll meet the brutality. They'll be aggressive. They'll be, you know, as tough as nails as we all know. Papua New Guinea, they they've just got a uh, a never die attitude, especially when they put on that jersey. Um, it's a whole different team together. And and saying that as we sort of uh, creep up into the World Cup, their first game against uh, Tonga. You know, uh, fireworks are short of crack. So, in saying that, that's me there for now. Give me your thoughts. Take it easy. See you guys next time. Papua New Guinea. If you want to win, what you have to do? Hold the ball. Take it easy. See you guys next time.